Hello everyone and welcome back to King Arthur Knight's Tale. Uh, we're quickly picking up where we left off last time. We've just started a new battle. One of the, the main three battles, I think, in this area. And they're all sort of fighting each other. So it looks like there's, they've sort of been split into two different factions at the minute. And they're just happily killing each other. So we're going to steer well back. Hector's just gonna chuck some bolts at people. Any range units in particular. Your Highness. And I think I'm just gonna get Mordred and Kay to go on Overwatch just to be sure. And um, we'll stick Barlin on Overwatch as well. And yeah, let's just see what happens. I mean, some are bandits, some are men at arms, so. And you've got scouts as well. I'm not sure which which one's losing and which one's winning is the problem. Although, alright, now I'm getting it though. So, yeah, it's basically the heavily armed guys. So there's only two of them left, which is a bit of an issue for us. The Lord is my witness. So I think we probably need to take these guys down as quickly as we can. So let's kill this one. Uh, let's slow. Hopefully these bandits come to us because we should be able to kill these. So if we go in Overwatch again, how much is Overwatch? Overwatch is uh, three AP, isn't it? So let's throw. Two traps down, and then we'll do Overwatch as well. Let's see what happens. So it's still quite tanky, and we've got a lot of vitality left. Alright, we definitely guessed wrong. <laughs> I thought it would have come to us. It's like they're not interested in us at all. Dealing some damage, that's for sure. Blessings. Right. What are we Two waiting then. for? Let's hoy you out. You can hide. And we'll get you to run up there and take out that man on there. And then we don't have to worry about it. I am here to serve. And then we'll just slowly move forward a little bit. We don't want to push our luck here. I mean, if we can complete this fight without taking any damage to us, oh, that would be great. And we've got two battles left, and we still have two campfires. Don't think they're doing too badly there. Blessings. Right, if we run straight towards him, or do we just part? No, I think we part behind here for now. Let's reserve your AP. Power and glory. And yeah, we'll just let Sir Actor keep killing them, really. There's no immediate rush for us. Let's see what happens. He died for our sins. Right, that's fine. Managing to kill them all there. Power and glory. All right, so Rector, you can let's finish this one off, and then let's slow this guy down. What are we waiting for? And then we probably want to get behind him, don't we? Might as well make the most of the backstab. Very nice. And yeah, we we'll just might as well shield charge this guy as well. There's not much you can do then. Your Highness. Let's get Sir K right up next to him as well. Time to feed the ravens. So he'll get up next turn, but you shouldn't be able to do any um, any attacks. Oh no, I was wrong. <laughs> he's managed to do one. Awaiting your command. But now he's dead. Nothing left to kill. Okay, so Balin took a couple of points of hit point damage. Um, a couple of hit point damage, sorry. And I think Mordred did as well. 
but considering how many people were there, that wasn't too bad. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> I was getting way too excited because that wasn't even one of the battles. That's a bit shit. I am Mordred. I was like Nemesis super glad that Arthur, was one of the, the easiest battles. Of but it doesn't even count. I am supposed to be dead. And yet here we are. Right, let's keep checking for loot before we push into the main the main town it looks like. We are gonna go and have to hit one of those campfires as well. Might as well go up this way. I don't know if we've been up this way yet. I don't think so. Mordred, you've committed heinous acts of evil. I believe that we must be relentless, but you, you make me feel sick sometimes. Well, that's rich. I don't know how he can say that. He got all of his troops killed. Yeah, I think hit points is probably still the best thing to do. Kira's back up to full armor. Hey, you can rest in the grave. He's got a lot more hit points now as well, so I don't feel as bad uh, chucking him into the, the thick of it. Alright, we've got everywhere else. So I think I might go around. Here's the, the wounded robber. The wounded knight mentioned about saying dung face was it to his boss or to the, the bandit leader I thought we could get out this way so I want to try that fight I'm hoping it sort of gives us it did say it would give us an advantage what advantage is yet to be seen right let's trigger it straight away Has it triggered it? Or is it just showing us? Okay, hasn't yet. Right. That's fine. Oh, I was literally just about to say we want to be cautious. And it's like, nope. There's a battle. Okay, thank you very much. So we have a crossbowman, two mana arms, and two shield guards. Right. So yeah, the fights are getting much more intense. Power and glory. Well, I want you to take out that crossbowman as soon as possible, really. We do have cover though between these pillars, which is quite interesting. Time to feed the ravens. So I'm thinking, do we run up? Or do we try and defend these? No, because then we could get. Ready to fight. Uh, I'm not sure actually. For my Camelot, I serve the Lord. Let's try and see what happens. So we're gonna hide. Put you over here, and then Hector. Can't get a good shot from anywhere apart from here. So we might as well try it. And we can't chuck a slow on him either because that takes two AP. So you're probably going to get shot next turn. I hope you're okay with that. Yes, I did want him to come towards. Harlan. But never mind. What are we waiting for? Can you jump over him? Not really. Ready. Right, if we move Serect back. I won't be able to cast a slow. And throw a spell. Throw one down on him. Um, shield charge. Can't shield charge anyone just yet. Let's do an overwatch. And K also do an overwatch. I 
And yeah, I think I'm going to have to do a jump on her. And then run behind this crossbow. So at least then I know we can take him out. I just hope this shield guy doesn't turn around. I'm wounded. Oh no, he does. Fantastic. Sinner shall bleed. Right. Well, this hasn't worked out. Um, I serve the Lord as well as I would have liked. He's gonna get. Uh, severely damaged by that. I'm thinking, do I try and run away now? Because we can run away much farther than these guys can. But then he's going to get a backstab on, isn't he? And he does 7 to 10 damage already. Mordred, you're going to have to go here. And... Oh, you c I could have actually shield charged him, couldn't I? That was stupid. I am here to serve. Alright, you can do a cleave. So, let's try that. Very nice. Let's keep your AP then for next turn. Um, do, 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 what do we do? She'll charge him to protect K. I think K is just gonna have to tank that, isn't he? Let me cut you to size. Yeah. Reserve your AP. Right, you can still kill him. Can put a bit of damage on him. Or we could guarantee the kill on the crossbow. And he gets a decent hit on the backstab, but... Right, so we managed to kill him there. Can't outrun him as well, so I, th I think he's just gonna have to tank it, isn't he? Unfortunately. Make up your mind. Let's see how bad he gets hit. Oh Christ! This is where I right, Mordred. How far can you shield charge? How many tiles is it? Two to four tiles, so that's nowhere near enough. No mercy and I can't wicked. jump out of this combat. What are we waiting for? Bugger. I can't even push him away either. It's not enough. Make up your mind. We run away now? Oh, come on, please. Oh, you are kidding me. Barlin, literally one away. That's not good, friend. Literally, you would have been... One more damage, and you would have been fine. Great. So now he's got... A broken limb and an infected wound. Make up your mind. Right. Well, that's not good for us. And we're only into one, one of the three fights that we have to do. Yeah, I mean that was my that was my bad, definitely for the player there. That was stupid play. Please don't tell me there's another battle. Can't cope. 
So what is suffered poison effects duration is doubled, so we need to make sure he doesn't get poisoned. And movement costs double AP. And obviously his this thing? the main part of his game spoils. is moving. More spoils. So we're gonna have to pop that definitely. Make sure he's got some cover. Because now we've just been dragged into another fight. Hey, dung face. Which one of you idiots ran his bloody mouth? We're in trouble, boys. So, and this is... This isn't even a fight. Oh my god. Right. I am here to serve. Fantastic. Kneel before your king. Well, Mordred, take your pick. <laughs> Killed one, Our nicely done. Glory. Another. Can you cast slow on anyone? You can. Let's do this guy. Your Highness. Okay, you can't really get anywhere close, can you? Might as well get close. Ready. If you can throw some traps at that door, that'll be perfect. Reserve your rear peak. Ready to fight. Right, you can't cleave anyone. Kneel before your king. You can shoot all three from here. How much damage can you do? Ready. I don't think this is going to work, but I'm basically just going to try and use Balin to tempt these guys to come down. Although I'm probably pushing my luck a bit. No, I don't want to hide, that was... Oh my god. I'm going to tempt these guys to come down here, but then I'm going to hide so he thinks nobody's there. Makes perfect sense. If I move, um, no, it's got to be three tiles, isn't it, in a row? I couldn't get a an overkill on both of those. I don't think. Oh, could I? I could do a cleave on those two. That works for me. And uh, let's do a bash on that guy. And then we'll move at one and Overwatch. Yeah, so throwing those down was completely pointless. I'm injured. Try harder. Try harder. Right. Kill him. Exit. Which one can you shoot at? This guy. That'll do. You can probably kill this one, can't you? Prepare to die. And I don't want to move K in just yet, so we'll keep the AP. There's no point jumping him in. So, Mod is going to have to tag this one. Just get a bit of HP back. Alright, so that was another unexpected fight. Do we get anything for it? Doesn't look like we do. Right, surely that must be the main fight inside the monastery. So I expect us to be okay walking behind it. Yes? I can gonna use a little rest. Come out and attack us. I don't really know what to make of these changes in Avalon, and I don't like uncertainty. Right. Um, well, no one's got any armor really. So it's gonna have to be hit points. Enough of the idling. Look. So you grab that chest. So who's got a portion left? Ector and Mordred. Probably the two people that don't need them. 
Right, we've got no more campfires. We do have that weird shrine that doesn't help us. So this is going to be fun. I can definitely see somebody dying. Probably Balin. Right, we've got two guys here. Three. Crossbow there. Can't see much else from here. It's around here. Another crossbow there. Yeah, so we've got crossbows all over. So it looks like this might be the best place to attack from. Alright, three crossbow, four knights. But we can deploy elsewhere. Right, okay. I hate being outranged. So I think the best thing we can do Sinners shall bleed. is stick Bal in there to take this guy out. What are we waiting for? Hector can stay there to get the cover, that's perfect. Mordred to the right to tank. And then K in support. Or actually no mercy for the wicked. Do I swap that around? Out. Let's try that. So K could move one. Get behind that cover. Kill this guy. Mordred can move here. Can't kill him unfortunately, but that's fine. Save your AP. Awaiting your command. Hector can get a nice shot in the back on this guy. And then we'll slow this man at arms. What? And hmm, I am tempted. I could jump and try and backstab this guy, but that's probably not gonna work. So let's just throw some throw some toys. That sounded weird. Kneel before your king. Right, that's fine. Let's see what happens. How has he done three HP damage from that close range? That's a bit rubbish. Right, well. Oh no, I could have left him because he was bleeding, you idiot. Never mind. Power right. and glory. Hector. You can't get a good shot on anyone, but we can kill this guy. Time to fight the ravens. And then we can't shield anyone though. Which is annoying. Right, he's slowed. So he can't move far. This guy can though. So None let's face forward. I'd rather not get ambushed. Let's chuck two traps down there. And which way is this guy gonna go? We don't know. Just hide at the back for now. Victor's already shot. And let's stick K in Overwatch. Very nice. That was good. That was a good turn. What are we waiting for? Right, we can jump Balin out. Well, he's definitely dead. So don't worry about Sinners shall bleed. Let's jump Barlin out. Move him up there. Attack this guy. Quite not dead. Quite not dead. Not quite dead. Ready. Probably gonna do more damage to this guy in the back. Yep. Uh, K can't get around there, unfortunately. Kneel before your king. But Mordred, <laughs> oh, I was hoping for a lucky hit. 
but we didn't get it. Make up your mind. Hopefully this guy doesn't hit sector. Oh, he didn't. That's alright. No mercy for the wicked. Works up. Wow. So I guess just chop that guy's head off. There we go, all right. Again, not terrible, but Sir Kears took a lot of damage. We did quite well with Bal in there to keep him out of any main combat. But now we are going into this fight. Um, and Sir Kears barely got any HP. Uh, I am going to run back to that shrine as well at some point. Right. So we've got a crossbow at the back. A big beefy guy there, which we don't really want to fight. Looks like a big beefy guy at the front as well. And a crossbow here. Right, let's try this way. Welcome to and my Sir Dumbok. Some wine, perhaps. Drop your weapons. Drop your weapons till you can. Uh, I don't know what that means. Must have been a feat to sack a monastery. Straight to the point, eh? I heard you fighting from a mile away. Don't you want to sit and discuss the matter like noble knights? You were a respected knight once, Dumlock. Like why you were slaughtering some monks for nothing. Being an honorable man got me deprived of my inheritance. Now I take anything, whenever I need it. Um, surrender, we might not hang you like a thief. There is never too late. We need every able-bodied knight Camelot. I mean, I'm going down the tyrant old faith route. But I don't think this is a guy that we can recruit. I mean, we try. A fair no. offer, All but right. I must refuse. I'm not kneeling or fighting for anyone but myself. So it's a fight no matter what. Defend yourself then, Dumlock. You're going to kneel soon enough, fool. Let's do that. Right, so... Dumlock is slightly closer. He does 5 to 9 damage. He's also got a recuperate. The unit gains temp 10 temporary HP for 3 turns. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, these guys actually do more damage. But he has got one more hit point. And he does have 50% physical debuff, so we won't be able to do this sh um, shield charge on him. I serve the Lord. Right, if we park Bal in here and I hide him straight away. Hmm, I don't know well this is gonna go. I am ready. I don't know if Kay. Alright, Mordred's gonna have to come in from here. In and sort of Tank all these. I don't really know how well that's gonna go. Make up your mind. Hector. I can't really put you here on your own, can I? I mean we could kill that crossbow straight away, I think. And then I'm if I put No, I can't put K here either. Or can I? If I put Kier here, he's going to draw both of these guys, I think. Which is... and then he's going to be in... Big trouble. I can take them. But... Right, my thinking is, if we put Hector here, he should be able to kill that crossbow straight away. We bring Mordred out... To try and entice both of these, maybe? Then... Hide Barlin. This guy should either come to Kay or Mordred. 
can get barn round, kill the crossbow. And I haven't got a plan for these three. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna go horribly wrong. Especially since Barlin's got that stupid double AP thing. No mercy for the wicked. Alright, yeah, there's not much else we can do. We just have to hide and pray that that shield guard doesn't come in to this one here and just runs around. Power and glory. So we kill him straight off the bat. We slow this one down. Your Highness. Kay hasn't even got enough movement to attack this guy. Jesus Christ. So Ector's probably. I'm gonna have to move in front of Ector. And then Overwatch. Let's just move Ector to the left one so he can shoot next turn. Time to feed the ravens. Mordred can go there for cover actually, so that works quite well. And then yeah, hopefully. They come towards me. He hasn't got any armor either. All right. Blessings. I mean, I could have chucked a couple of traps out, but never mind. Yeah, let's see what they do. Okay, so he's actually going to go and flank. So he's already taken hit point damage. Right, well, to get us out of that position, we can charge this guy. Which isn't a bad idea. We can move forward one. Hit him while he's down. Um, right, he can't attack us next turn, so that's fine. So we'll face again this guy. You can... Oh, that's tempting to jump there and try and kill this guy. That is very tempting. We are going to do it as well. Oh, come on, please kill him. Oh, Balin, you absolute beauty. Right, okay, that's good. So we'll face against the crossbow. Balin's going to get defense anyway, so you can kill him next turn. Hector. Yeah, there's no point shooting at him now. Right. Let's move you in a bit. Awaiting your command. We will get will we get a defense bonus from there? <laughs> oh double damage. Perfect. This couldn't have gone any better. Um Yeah, he can't move, so if we move Kier there, he'll get some defensive cover against the crossbow. And we'll leave Mordred there as well. Yeah. So the crossbow shot's gonna suck. That's fine. And he's charged straight into Mordred. Right. Shall bleed. So Balin, you run there. And you can start killing the crossbow next turn. Ready to fight. What I need. What? Um. Oh my God! You can't actually shoot him, can you? I am here to serve. Yeah, it's going to waste a lot of turns, but I'm going to actually need to get K in behind him. That's the only way I see him getting killed. So if I move this way, yeah, I should have run that way, shouldn't I? Never mind. Blessings. And then the same for Hector as well. Twenty percent vulnerability to the target for one turn seems a bit pointless. Might as well just attack him twice. <laughs> Regain some HP. K 
Okay, this isn't too bad. We just need Mordred to tank that. What are we waiting for? Well, I can kill the crossbow. I am ready. Hector's still kind of getting into combat with him this turn, so we may as well move up one. Reserve your AP. You can now shoot him. Is that going to count as a backstab? I think it is. No! You idiot. I misclicked. I wanted to do stigma first. Never mind. Right, that's okay. Ready. Kneel before your king. Right. I think though yeah, he's got fifty percent resist to that, so we're just gonna keep attacking him and replenishing our HP. Okay, can now move him behind. You can cast bolt on him. I am here to serve. Oh, that's a nice. <laughs> He's dead. Very nicely done. Now it would be nice if we found a shrine that healed Vitali, as Balin is near death. But it doesn't look like we're going to get one. Alright, I do want to do a couple of things before we end this episode. So let's go back and speak to this guy. Just to let him know that we've killed everyone. I don't know if it will actually prompt anything or not. No, it won't. We can't even speak to him. And then I also want to... We can revisit the Friar guy that marked all the positions on the map in case he's got anything else for us. Hopefully he marks a position on the map that um, shows another shrine. One that heals Vitality. <laughs> that would be perfect. He's not interested, he's just still dying. And I also want to check out the shrine again. Because I do not understand A why it's a weakness and B why it wouldn't let us click it. Trial successful spellcraft one. Is that just to understand what it is? I'll leave it. Right, well that looks like the mission's done. So let's finish. Maybe I think at the very start of the game it did say that some of the shrines can give you a, a positive or negative. I'm sorry, have like a positive or negative impact. So maybe just with the spellcraft skill we can identify what it is before we take it. I'm not sure. So K okay, lost 7 Vitality, Balin lost 24, he's got 2 injuries, which is pretty bad. But Hector and Balin both leveled up. And we've got a ton of money and loads of relics, which is good. What's this? Lady Dindrain's vision. I had a vision from Lady Dindrain, who has been on the hunt for the Grail since she came to Avalon. She told me about a dream she had about her brother Sir Percival, the famous Grail Knight. In her vision, Percival was standing next to a majestic throne and warned her about the holy relic being in grave danger. Lady Dindrain wants to solve this dream riddle and asked for my permission to visit the great library of the Red Abbey. So we need Lady Dindrin here, this is not the time for dream quests in the wilderness. Um, so we'd lose loyalty by one. Lady Dindrin can go but she must return to Camelot with anything she learns about the throne. So Lady D will be unavailable for one mission but she'll gain two loyalty. Uh, I think we can handle that. I was thinking about taking her on the next mission but two loyalty for one mission I think it's Okay, we can live with that. And now we have quite a bit of money. 
let's have a look at our level ups first. Right, I checked the timing and I did overrun by quite a bit, I think. Um, a lot of it was just me babbling on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this episode here. And then I'm just going to go through the heroes, level them up, sort out their equipment, accessories, that sort of stuff. Level up Barlin and Nectar. Um, because it, yeah, I was babbling for quite a while. So I'll cut it out for this episode. But, you know, if you have watched it and you've enjoyed it, please let me know. And let me know if you want to leave that in. If me going through and choosing weapons, accessories, that sort of stuff. I do realise it took quite a bit of time actually. <laughs> I sort of lost lost track of time when I was going on about it. So yeah, I'll sort all this out and then we can carry on with the next mission. So thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.